Ladies and gentlemen, the Lamborghini Lanzador. Even if it's a concept car, we are naming uh, this car after the name of a fighting bull. So it's the best Lamborghini tradition. Uh, this bull fought in the arena of Madrid in 1993, and uh, it was named the best of the show, the best of that day. And if you look at the car, you can see something which we had at the very beginning of Lamborghini, because the first car we launched in back in 60 years back was the 350 GT. It was a two-door 2 plus 2. And this is a two-door 2 plus 2 car, but with a higher seating position and with more ground clearance. So it's really the blending, the best out of the worlds we have put here together. And also in terms of body style, it's completely new, because if you look at the design, it's clearly recognizable as a Lamborghini. We have here the kept forward design, we have the signature line which is going, which is stretching all over the car from the beginning to the end, and very typical for Lamborghini, uh, when you see the glass, we call it in our uh, technical language greenhouse, it's very square, and this is very typical for Lamborghini. So these are the elements where you can clearly recognize a Lamborghini. Now, five years before the car is hitting the market, it's a bit too early to speak about technical defects. But uh, I can tell you that uh, we are working on active aerodynamics, we are working on torque rectoring, uh, and we are working on all the things which are going to be innovational with the electric era coming up. But one data I want to give you, at least this car will have one megawatt when it's hitting the market. But if we look at the lineup, all the cars are very successful in our lineup. Starting with the Revuelto, which uh, we launched earlier this year, as I said, it's a high performance electric vehicle. It has a 1,015 horsepower, and so far it's been receptive in an exceptional way from the market. Then on my right hand side we have the Huracan Sterato, which is the last day when we are going out of the Huracan. And it's a car which is good for the road, but also good off the road. And uh, this is only something Lamborghini could do, because it's something really exceptional. And then on the far right side we have the Urus Performante. The Urus Performante is the even sportier version of the Urus. It's lower, it's wider, and it's lighter. Ladies and gentlemen, important to know is that whatever is going to happen, we will always build dream cars. This means that we will have cars filled with technological innovations. We will have cars which will be always outstanding in terms of design, always different but always very recognizable as a Lamborghini. And then when it comes to performance, our performance will be good or the best in terms of numbers when we speak about acceleration, we speak about the braking time or a left time. But even more important, they will be very emotional in terms of performance. So thank you very much. Forza Lamborghini. And before we end the show, I would like to have my team here on stage for the show. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here.
It's the start of a new era. No? We are going to launch this car in five years from now and to present it here in Pebble Beach is uh, the anticipation of what is going to happen. So we have to prepare uh, the crowd, the customers and the fans also to what uh, extent Lamborghini is going to, to, uh, to change in the years to come. But we have to put the things in a row. The first challenge is uh, to accomplish the first phase of the Direzione Cortauri. So we started this year with the launch of the Revuelto. Next year we have to continue with the Urus as a plug-in hybrid and then with the follow-up of the Huracan. And then uh, we have to move towards the second phase and if this is successful, then we will be also ready for the year 2028 for the Lanzador in the market. It's a, it's a 2 plus 2 GT car, a two-door car with more ground clearance, with a higher seating position. So it's what was missing in the lineup, but it's also the best out of two worlds, not because the GT car is looking stunning. And as an elevated car, it's really something which is a perfect blend. But it's the second phase of the core, uh, Tauri strategy because the first phase is the hybridization phase of all the lineup. And then the second phase is starting exactly <laughs> with the Lanzador. And this will be then the first full electric car of the uh, Lamborghini lineup. Lanzador is in the best Lamborghini tradition, the name of a fighting bull. It fought in the arena of Madrid in 1993 and uh, it was named uh, the, the best of the show because the United States is our most important market. Pebble Beach is the most important event in the US and the quail inside Pebble Beach is the place where we show new cars. So this is the place to be. Yes, because we wanted to anticipate what is going to happen with the company in the years to come. And you always have to give the people uh, the time to adjust and to believe in what we're going to do. And it's on us to prove that this is going to be a dream car with design and performance like a Lamborghini deserves. But the design is uh, one of the highlights always because this is what you see. Uh, in my opinion, it's a body style. It's a complete new approach now with the higher ground clearance, a two plus two. And uh, on top of that, it will be a real Lamborghini with at least uh, one megawatt of power output. The Lamborghini Lanzador is for us uh, from Centro Stile, the design center. It's the most sophisticated, the most visionary concept car we have ever created. It is for me a showcase of a Lamborghini of the future, of a potential fourth model. And you know, for me it's important the new proportions, the new segment that we have shaped. Because we were starting from the design volume of a super sports car and we've put it in a higher position. So the driver, the pilot is having a pilot position and that is creating outstanding proportion, a car, a Lamborghini that no one has seen so far. 100%. The design DNA of a Lamborghini is shaped by the silhouette line and we have it. But also in the front view, you see the car right behind me. We have always a strong inclinated greenhouse, so the windows are inclinated like a Countach and we have this as well. But the Lamborghini Lanzador is significant because the DLO, also the window line, is um, taking inspiration from the window line of the Murcielago. We have Y shapes uh, in the body side inspired from Sesto Lamento. We have aerodynamical functionality, best seen on the body side. We have an air intake that is a bit recalling the Miura air intake, but it's also highly functional. So in terms of design, all the ingredients of a Lamborghini are cooked together um, into a dish that is, you know, tasting fresh, new, authentic, and um, it's showcasing the future. You know, the innovation is already coming from just the silhouette of a Lamborghini. Already when you see a silhouette of a Revuelto or of the Huracan, it, the cars, they look futuristic. So the Lanzador is very puristic. It takes uh, really few lines and, uh, you know, it is, um, you know, following my new design philosophy, um, essential, iconic. So it's a very essential lines, uh, you know, you have nice muscles and uh, like this the design is definitely also, um, you know, fresh for a longer period, almost timeless. You know, when I say the exterior is like a spaceship, the interior is even more spaceship because the electrical layout was allowing us to have a lot of space in the interior. The center console is now free, you can put luggage there. Um, we have a super low seat position 
Uh, we have a slim dashboard. We have the characteristic Y shape uh, on the on the general design theme. Uh, but then you can take out any detail and it looks like a Lamborghini. Even finishing with the graphic design that we have you know, on the instrument clusters, uh, until the last little detail, it is speaking the language of our design DNA. Okay. Sustainability is for us in design very important. Uh, the interior is designed with all materials, um, you know, really sustainable. Um, we have 3D printed foam, so we are substituting plastic foam with a 3D printed structure using recycled plastic. We have merino wool and we have also the leather is tanned uh, with organic um, chemistry. So, you know, Lamborghini in, in general is a very sustainable product because no one will ever throw away a Lamborghini. So as a designer, you always want to create something really true and authentic. And, you know, being the head of design for Lamborghini, I feel very perfectly here in Lamborghini because Lanzador is a beautiful example of how we are imagining sustainability in the future. For me, the challenge is always an opportunity because we wanted also to showcase aerodynamic. So for me, the challenge was to have a beautiful design, but then integrating all the aerodynamical elements, our futuristic idea of uh, you know, smart aerodynamic in the car, because we are hiding the aerodynamical elements. For example, we have the door that is having a channel that is providing the fresh air for the blown diffuser on the rear. So we are hiding like a very sporty person that is wearing a dress or wearing a suit. You know, you, we are covering this with a really beautiful design, but internally and on some elements with the diffuser on the front with the splitter, you can see everywhere Lamborghini, the Lamborghini Super Sports car. It's a dream come true. The Quail is the, the event, you know, for a designer to be. It's the event for Lamborghini because we are here surrounded by supercars and, you know, we are surrounded by perfect inspiration. And, you know, being Lamborghini and we want to be you know, we want to be an inspiration to be here in the Quail with the Lamborghini Lanzador is the perfect place to showcase our freshest and newest ideas. We have chosen this color that is called as a liquid blue, very deep. So that's why it has the name Blue Abisale, very, it's Italian, it's a very dark blue. We knew we are here on the golf uh, course and we have this blue sky. And in California, the sunshine is special, so we knew it will really blow and you know, show the beauty uh, of the shape of the car to its best. With the Lamborghini Lanzador, we want to inspire the people, um, you know, but we want to inspire the people with something quite real. So let's say at the moment it's a dream and for sure we have a few years you know, to go to develop this car, but uh, you know, what you see is not what you get, but you see what you see. There's a lot of ideas uh, that you will see definitely in the future, maybe not only on this car, maybe on other cars. And um, that's why we keep stay tuned with us. And uh, you know, because Lamborghini is the right place uh, to find the right inspiration in the future. For me, the main highlight of this car is the general feeling. I have, uh, I felt all day long, I had the feedback of the journalists, I had the feedback of the customers. I had really a positive feeling because it is an unseen car. It's an unseen proportion. And, uh, you know, it's really exciting me that the people already have it in their hearts. So they really accept it as a Lamborghini. And uh, that was for me uh, the best uh, surprise and the best, uh, in the end of the day, feedback and appreciation for our hard work that we did with all the team uh, in Lamborghini. The Lanzador is very important for the company because it's really a game changer. First of all, we are generating a new segment. And secondly, it's our first full electric car. So therefore, it's very, very important for us. First of all, we are very proud that the car is really a very, very cool show car. But it's not only show car, it's more because it's very close already to the production car regarding the proportions, regarding the concept. So be excited for the production car. To transfer Lamborghini DNA for, to the future, it's a very, very exciting task because for sure we have a very strong DNA, we have a very cool DNA, and we have a lot of opportunities also in the full electric world to define our typical Lamborghini driving thrill on the full electric car. I'm looking forward. For us, it's very important to have not only the performance, the performance is a baseline. We always want to generate driving emotions. And 
this, to transfer this to the full electric world. This is our challenge, but we are taking the challenge and we have also a lot of ideas, I can tell you, to even to increase the level of emotions. The main priorities for the electrification strategy is for sure to ensure that we generate a typical Lamborghini driving feeling, driving experience in the full electric world. This is our mission and prior one. Like always in the development process, you face a lot of challenges, but this makes it also interesting and exciting. So to give you only one, some examples, for sure to develop all these control strategies, all this electronic integration stuff, all this software st stuff and so on. This is for sure to integrate everything. It's a challenge, but the challenge ex is, is accepted and we have also really a lot of cool ideas. That it's the first full electric car that is very, very cool, a typical Lamborghini.